This is the LeBron James and Michael Jordan comparison by Yosef and Daniel. These are LeBron's stats in his first five years in the NBA concerning points and assists. These are Michael Jordan's stats in his first five years in the NBA concerning points and assists. To incorporate math into our project, we use standard deviation equation to see who has the better efficiency in both points and assists. For Jordan's points, the first number in our equation was the probability. The probability is one-fifth because 28.2 only shows up once in the stat line. The second number is 28.2 because that's the number according to the stat we're choosing. The third number is 31.1 because that's the average of all his stats in his first five careers. And then we squared all that to get the answer. Then we did that five times for his five stats and we came up with 26.486. Then we squared that entire number and got 5.51 and that's the standard deviation. We did this for Jordan's assists and we came up with the standard deviation of 1.68. For LeBron, we did the same work as Michael Jordan, but we used his stats and took place of Michael Jordan's stats. For LeBron's graph, we took the standard deviation of points and divided by two three times consecutively to get the numbers to the left. Then for we multiplied times two to get the three numbers to the right. We did this also for LeBron's assists, and we also did this for Michael Jordan's graphs. There are two ways to see who has a better efficiency. The first way to find it is by seeing who has the smallest standard deviation. The second way is to look at the graphs and see who has the smallest gap. And LeBron